Does anybody remember this game? Timberborn? You know, the one with these adorable little beaver creatures that waddle around and making high-tech things like the brand new golems that have been added? Not the little Lord of the Rings kind, but the parts that make, like, autonomous golems who can assist beavers in their everyday tasks. Now, this takes a lot of resources, so we're gonna get going. Try to do it in today's video, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Also, speaking of fun, if you want to pick up this update, there's a link in the video description, and the developers have sponsored this video. But it's a game that I really enjoy and I think you guys will as well. There's a bunch of other updates too and you can read all those patch notes in that link in the video description too. So with that said, let's get going. We're gonna try to hustle through this pretty quickly because you guys have seen me play through the game. You know we need the basics like having a lumberjack flag so the beavers can chop down trees. And once they have the trees, they need a log pile to store those trees. And then our little beaverlings get hungry so we'll slap in a gathering flag for somebody to come over here and harvest these beautiful little blueberries. And speaking of getting hungry, they're also going to get thirsty so we need to give them a couple water pumps and some storage tanks to store all of that beautiful blue water. Speaking of storage, we need a couple small warehouses so we can like have our resources live here. And speaking of living, let's go ahead and build some lodges for our little beaverlings to live inside of and make baby beavers. I also suppose that that's not going to be enough food, so we'll put in a farmhouse there and then slap in some crops and then build up a nice little field of carrots. And since there's another forest that I greedily want to chop down, let's put another lumberjack flag over here. And then we are going to assign the cutting of all of these trees right there and this forest right here, because that's what beavers are good for. They're good for destroying environments and making new environments by flooding everything. So my little dudes, get to work. Our lives depend on you. Yay, he's already gnawing on the tree to cut it down. What a good little beaver. Oh, they're storing it. Nope, they're not storing it. They're using that to build other things like the old water tanks down here. Let's add a couple more workers to the district and they should get going pretty quickly as soon as they have trees to chop down. And truth be told, I also want to get a couple inventors going since this thing is like way end game materials right here. Well, this is beautiful. Everything has been constructed and it's time for plan number B. Plan number B consists of having a lumber mill. That's actually a decent spot for it. And and you know what? This is not right. We need to make a, a levee or something across here so water can flow through it. Yeah, blocks water, but some pass through the spillway at the top. Okay, we need a levee like uh, right here so we can store some water here and then we'll have flow for a water wheel like such as. Oh, we could actually put in two of them here. That would be kind of neat. And that should collect most of the water. We'll also put in a straight power shaft right there. And I might need to put in a levee right there too. Actually, no, we'll get platforms as soon as that I can afford them. Well, isn't this wonderful? The drought has started. We literally have two, one berry. I've made a road across here, but we don't have any wooden planks. And if the drought started, we literally have zero water flow. But at least the carrots are getting ripened. Please don't dry out. Please don't dry out. It'll be all good, I promise. No, no. It's okay. Still halfway green? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Balls. But I guess the good news is we have enough science points that we can research the forester. And finally, the rains have returned. Please give us water. Please give us water. Yes, we have power. And we'll use that power to build some planks and we'll use the planks to build a forester. And then we can plant uh, probably a buttload of pine trees. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Some of these aren't going to grow, but I don't really care. I'm making a big forest. So the beaver colony looks slightly different. There's a lot going on now. 60... Three. Oh, we just had one born last night and uh, 23 without work. So there's a lot happening right here, but we have interesting things. Ooh, beaver level eight. So I've been working here to create a levee around this area. What I need to do next is bring out over here and start gathering metal from those ruins. So I felt that if I'm going to do that, I might as well just make some platforms and cut all the way across the water here. Whoa, that's a lot. These are gonna take so many resources. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna cut it across here too. And then if I can do that, I might as well put in some floodgates around here, right? Then I could have this cool looking dam if it ever got completed, which would flood this river and prevent uh, bad things from happening. Or maybe bad things will happen because I'll just flood all of my fields. But that's always fun to experiment. And we can create another builder's hut here so they can start building up over on this area nicely. All right, good news, another 
dry season is over and we have the floodgates mostly completed. There's literally one left. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm thinking we might actually flood way more than I want, but whatever. <laughs> Flooding's fun. All right, time to get interesting. That flood just happened. Oh, yeah. We dried that up, but this is filling up over here. Or it should anyway. I'm betting that the water is going to tip over this eventually, which wouldn't be good. And I might need to dam this off as well. Yeah, I don't really care about this backwater area so much. So the question is, how far can I actually take this into here before I need a new district? I hate districts. So I've got good news and bad news. The good news is I'm almost ready to start gathering all of these runes to start turning it into metal that we need to make our golems. The bad news is this is too far away, so we have to turn it into a district. We pop in a district gate and then build up a district center here we should be able to migrate some population over. It's been a while since I've done this, so apologies. This, I think, is District 3. So I want District 3 to send in a bunch. Like, I want, uh, let's go with, like, 8 minimum. No, let's go with 6 minimum. Sure, that should work. And then we should distribute some stuff here. We probably want some food. Let's see, we have 19 of those. Our food is almost gone. I did not recognize that. We just had a really long drought, so that's probably why. <laughs> wow, we only have 35 potatoes. Yikes. Okay, uh, hopefully their food's almost ready. We're also out of water. Hot dang, what happened when I was gone? Oh, we got plenty of water. That's in the wrong district. I'm looking in district two, not district one. <laughs> All right, carrots, I want high end of 100, low end of, let's say 50, just so there's constantly stuff here. The same with water. And that probably means I should build up a water tank, which I can easily do. Don't worry, we're gonna have lots of logs eventually as well. Good, so they should be bringing things over. Yes, the migrate migrators came. That is excellent. And now I probably could build over a little path over to here and start gathering some metal. I probably need to unlock that though. Scavenger flag, 250, we have plenty of science. So let's put in like three. The builders will build and then the harvesters will use their teeth to chop down metal. Okay, yeah, we have 1,800 food in the main district. So everything's good there, plus 800 water. So we're totally fine on that. And these guys are just nomming on these trees like crazy. And by trees, I totally mean wooden runes from when humans used to live here, but now beavers are the only thing that are still alive. We're also gonna need to unlock the smelter, which is 300 science points. And I did wanna do it up in here, which might be a totally not good idea. I could also do it right here and just bulldoze all the flowers. That sounds like much more fun. Goodbye, flowers. You served your worth, but we have 1,287 of you. I don't need you anymore. Now, there is one more thing we need as well. It's under the science tree. We're gonna have to get a refinery rolling up. Refinery turns food into biofuel, so let's unlock that. And if we're gonna do that, we have to have a tank, so we're gonna unlock that as well. And there it is, the golem part factory. We can't build you yet, but don't worry, buddy. As soon as I have five more, 500 more science points, we will get you and your friend. Also sucks that these refineries take metal blocks, so we can't build them fully until we build some smelters. We also need to put up a distribution post in here. Wow, that's a big building. That's okay, we've destroyed lots of trees. Hopefully water is on the way. I'm so sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. Are these full? Oh, they are. We need more houses here. Yay, they got the water they needed. All of them except for this fella. I don't care about him though. Or these other three. That's okay, we still have a few that are out of work, I guess. Oh, and this makes it fun. We have another drought. Yay, go team. Okay, so more good news. I have just created a levee across here to block off this entire river. And that should redirect all of that water back this way. Am I hoping it doesn't overlap there, but it should fill up here? Yes, this should all get backed up. And then all of that river flow is going right into this area, which is gonna be beautiful then I might be able to raise this up a little bit and not have dehydration poisoning. Come on, come on. No! It might take, oh yes, it took a little bit. Ha ha, ha ha ha. Now I have endless amounts of water. I can store it and then I have technology. Wondering how high I can make that go without it stopping the flood? Because this is backing up a little bit, it can't go anywhere. If I was a thinking man, I would stop this up in here because this has nowhere to go. Oh, and interesting, that actually flooded a little bit. I have a single flooded building, what is it? Oh no, not my gathering post. It's kind of annoying actually. 
That means I just need to make it so it doesn't flood over here anymore. All right, so good news. We have tons of water flowing through. It is in the middle of the drought, but our dam is actually holding water, which is awesome. And that means it is time to open up these other things. Now, we do have the golem part factory because our biofuel refineries are processing potatoes. We should probably put a storage tank down. Let's do two of those. We'll do two storage tanks, tell them to build that right away, and then you halfway. Also, I believe we can build a golem part factory. Oh, that fits right here perfectly. Okay, we'll make sure it turns around. All right, and we don't have enough science for the assembler quite yet. It's so close. And this takes metal box gears. How many gears do we have? Do I not even have any gears? Oh, one. Okay, we don't really... Man, we're using up so many resources in this. But I mean, that's what happens when you play the end game content. Oh, just kidding. The drought just started now. <laughs> I thought we were in a drought. Just like, wow, that was a lot of water. Okay. That's fine. Only five days remaining. Also, I turned this area into a nice forestry zone that we can chop down all of the trees. Goodbye, beautiful trees. Oh, dang, the biofuel is already full in both of these. Yikes. Okay, so gears, planks. We're gonna be storing these in any second. How many metal blocks do we have? Hardly any. One, okay. We also have enough science points to unlock the goblin assembler. I know it says golem, but goblin sounds funner. Interesting, it won't let me build it there. Well, we'll build it right here instead, and then connect a power source to it. That didn't work. Why do you not want to be plugged in? We'll have to wait until it's built, I guess. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> there's, there's no power anymore. All right. Do I drop this? Is that water in there? It is. All right, let's try dropping this down a little bit. Can that make the flow happen? Okay, a little bit of water is going to crash out. I don't know how long that storage is going to last, but we have three days of this drought. Oh, and yes, please. The biofuel tank is ready. Almost 400. Actually, it's 112. But that's okay. There's still a lot in here. Oh, that's uh, that's real nice right there. Uh, whoops. Okay. I guess some of these need to hold water back a little better. There we go. That's much nicer. Okay, this might also sound weird, but we're going to start doing something. We have science projects to do at this base. So one more interesting thing in here called a gravity battery that we can unlock. Okay, a lot has changed again. It's been like another hour or so. We've got uh, the Golem part factory up and running. We're having a tough time getting gears, so I built more gear factories over there. I also built up this little area. I took over the flooded zone and I wanna build up windmills here uh, just to kind of help out with the wind power. It's uh, slow really slow. We also don't talk about how I drive these paths all sorts of weird directions, but it'll work, I think. Yeah, just connected back side of it. Cool. Anyway, we have fun things happening because now we have three of these going. We can tell this guy to build up the chassis. We have this guy to build up the limbs and this one can build the head. There it is. Golem heads. Yay. And then this one, you know what? We can just delete it. Like, we don't need that anymore. It was expensive, but it's not over here and it doesn't look as cool. Also, the Golem Assembler is here. They're ready to go, almost. They just need two heads and then we can start making little tiny robotic wooden beaver things. I'm excited. I'm so excited right now. I hope you can tell I'm so excited. This guy's like, yeah, about those heads, bud. I I'd like to have some gears, so we'll put this up to maximum priority. And we're a little bit low on power, which makes sense because like six, eight of these are powering the entire facility. And then these things up here, they're gravity batteries. I don't even know what they do, but I'm excited for them too. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. I think it's working. Look at the little golem. Oh, he's being constructed. Um, That's weird. I kind of like it but don't like it at the same time. Takes 36 hours to create one of these things. <laughs> I tell you what, little beaver man, you better be worth it because you are really expensive and you took like five hours of my day to build you. Ow! Oh, he just ran away. I just saw him get built and he just, just, oh, is that him right there? Oh, Barrelbot, that's his nickname. Oh, that's cool. Hey, where are you going, Barrelbot? What are you, what are you doing? You're unemployed. Uh, he carries nothing. What? We gotta give you a job, Barrelbot. What are you do What are you doing? He's just standing around. Okay, we gotta see if there's any work for him to do. Unlock this workplace for golems. That takes a 500 science? Oh, hey, Barrelbot's now a holler man. I didn't realize that was gonna take so much, but he's just chilling in there. Oh, he's gonna haul something. Hey, 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 hey. He's carrying water. Look at him. He's so good at carrying things. I love him. He's my new favorite. Sorry to all the other people. Oh, he's so fast. Look at him go. Vroom. 
<laughs> I need more. Oh, he's going again. He's carrying more water. Oh, that's excellent. We're building another one. Oh boy, we're gonna have barrel bots for days. Oh, also the battery just got completed. That's sweet. Look at that. It's dropping down the crane. Oh, weird. So it's charging up. Oh, it's charging up the horsepower hours. Oh, that's so cool. I should call beaver power hours, not horse powers, because there's no horses in this game, but there's lots of beavers. Wow, that's actually pretty incredible. Oh, and just in time for a drought. I have done it. I have done it. Okay, so two of these batteries are functioning. These still need a lot of resources, but I have supplemented the lack of water through the drought with wind power now, mostly. It's not very windy right now, but yes, everything's still relatively functioning. And we have three barrel bots already. The fourth one is almost created. And this is also really exciting. I can unlock this for 10,000 science points. <laughs> So that the golems recreate golems and then they can take over the entire world. I don't know how that works, but it's pretty entertaining and wonderful. It is back to the regular time of year. We're producing literally 3000 network power supply. We're creating tons of little golems and our power poles are going beautifully. So my friends, thank you for watching today's video of Timberborn. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you download the game using that link down below in the video description and try out the new update if you already own it. So we'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members for supporting the channel, including Autoday, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippias, Destructo Man, General Harris, Maxer, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Eagle Arc, Spencer T, Zarnoff, Rail Deegan, Sarcasmorex, Baron Fox, Whiskey, Splatter Sacks, Joe B, Doug Rules 2.0, Fury Arrow, Nerdy Geek Skunk Chess, Corey and Rob the King, Brett, KDF, Dalton C, Hellbora, Mr. M Gaming, Sikander, Kyle, Kieran, Grayson, Monkey, Zane, Mr. Cripple One, and Epic Bacon.